Do, 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 do. John Perry here on a little break at work, just looking at the anatomy of yellowfin tuna because I just think they're cool. Wow. These spikes on the back of tuna. What's. Oh, look at that. Here's a video. What the function? Hello there, and welcome to my new mini series, What the Function. This series is inspired by a video I saw seven years ago by Emily Grassley. She had an engineer, Destin, from Smarter Every Day on, and she showed him different animal parts and asked him if he could figure out what the function of those parts were. I am going to be doing this a little bit differently. Instead of showing you an animal part that scientists know what it does, I'm going to show you animal parts that no one knows what they do. I'll be doing this yeah, every once in a while. Every time I find a weird animal part that no one knows what its function is, I'll do one of these videos. And the goal, down in the comment section, discuss how you think we could go about figuring this out. What kind of experiments would a person design to figure out the function of these particular body structures? So we're going to start out with the finlets. The little video that I showed you earlier comes from a tweet by Dan Folks, and that's what introduced me to finlets. Tuna are huge animals, and they are extremely fast swimmers. At their normal pace, they swim about 10 miles an hour, and when they're hunting or running away from predators, they can go up to 40 miles an hour, even more. Some people say 50 miles an hour. Extremely fast fish. They are highly adapted for long distance swimming. And if you go on the Wikipedia page, you can read about these little finlets, and they actually tell you stuff on here that's wrong. They say that they are rayless and non-retractable. It's true that they're not retractable, but they do have rays in them, unless I am mistaken about how to define a ray, but it certainly seems like there's little ray fin bones in these finlets to me. There are two fairly recent papers where people have tried to figure out what the function of these finlets are. So tuna locomotion, a computational hydrodynamic analysis of finlet function, a follow-up by two of the authors from that first paper, tunas as a high-performance fish platform for inspiring the next generation of autonomous underwater vehicles. That's kind of cool. They're trying to build underwater vehicles based on tuna fish because tuna fish are so successful. Why not just copy them? So they really want to know what the heck these little fins are for. These papers have beautiful images in them. I highly recommend checking them out. Here you can see the little, what I'm, what I'm calling rays. I mean, what, what, what would you call those? They look like rays to me. These structures are not simple. They're attached at the base. They're loose at the end. They have three sets of muscles attached to them, and they move them when they swim. Normally when they're swimming, they're sort of passive. They're just kind of drifting back and forth in the current as they go. But these papers have also found that when they're gliding, they can move those finlets with those muscles. They can intentionally move them supposedly to help steer the fish. These would be slow steering movements. Slow, gentle steering movement so that the fish can keep its momentum when it's doing a long distance swim, but it can also aim itself. This is very similar to airplanes. You know, when you're flying an airplane, if you're heading toward a specific destination, you just do these tiny little micro adjustments when you're flying that airplane so that you don't waste gas and fuel and time on crazy turns. So it seems like these might be fine adjustment, fine tuning steering guides. They're actually not sure. The other thing that they notice is that they create some drag, and creating drag seems like that would be bad. Drag is backwards pull. So the thing's trying to swim forward, and these things are creating drag. But they don't create very much drag. Actually, the way that they're spaced out makes them not create as much drag as you would think. And they seem to be producing this weird vortex that then hits the tail. It's suspected that that might somehow increase the speed of the fish. I wonder if there might not be a third thing happening on top of that. I wonder if these also might act as turning signals. Notice how brightly colored they are compared to the rest of the fish. And the reason that I say this is that tuna fish, they hang out in large schools, and these can be pretty dense schools, and they're swimming at high speeds between 10 and up to 40 miles an hour in that school. And of course, in those conditions, it's very important that they understand where all the other fish are collisions at that speed could be bad, right? Because these fins just kind of go with the current normally, that means that you could actually flick them or move them in certain ways to signal that you're about to turn or that you are turning. Maybe just the act of abruptly turning is a signal and helps the other fish know, that, oh, that fish is trying to move. He's coming towards me, so I'm going to get out of the way. There is one thing that makes me suspect that maybe I'm wrong. Actually, two things, really. First off, I do not know how well these fish can see the color yellow. 
Their eyes are not very sensitive to color. If a human were to see as poorly as they do, we would say that they're colorblind. But it's not clear if maybe this certain type of color yellow is something that they can see. That's not clear, not even from the paper specifically on their vision. So that's one issue. The other issue is that not all species of tuna have yellow finlets. This fish right here is a black-finned tuna, and its finlets are black. Maybe this species doesn't school as closely as the yellowfin tuna and the bluefin tuna, and all of the many other species that have bright yellow finlets. Or maybe my hypothesis is just totally garbage. I don't know. So there you have it. What the function. What the function. Let us all know down in the comments what you think the function of these things might be, and what types of experiments could we do to try and figure that out. There are tuna fish in captivity. There's an aquarium in Tokyo, so maybe you could build some kind of like a wind tunnel for tuna fish. That'd be fun. Maybe you could, in this wind tunnel for tuna fish, a water tunnel for tuna fish, maybe you could, you could paint their fins black and see if they collide more often or if they end up having to space, space themselves apart more when they're in a crowd in that situation. What the function? What the function?